What's up, guys? This is the Rifleman, and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the United States of America. And in this episode, we are finally going to attack the city of Mysore. So let's take them out. The garrison's very weak, um, but I think we're in a position where we can make some uh, really good gains against the My against the Marathas over the subsequent over the oncoming turns. We got a couple of their major cities under attack. And once we take them, that will, I think that will mostly break the back of their forces. But we still need to keep the pressure up. We still need to keep annihilating them. We can't let them have any breathing space and recover and regroup. We want to keep the momentum going as much as we can. And I think the idea might be to start just mass recruiting armies of dragoons to act, to act as uh, garrison troops. So I think an army such as this is far too fine to be left to do simple garrison duties. Oops, didn't mean to bring the cavalry. We're just going to make the one breach. And then we're going to advance. Advance into it, secure the shoulders. And destroy them. So, you guys... Even this section, not the corner itself. Now it says just attack the center, because that's where they've got most of their cavalry and their elephants. So those are things we definitely want to take out. Uh, we'll be able to deal with deal a huge amount of damage. Actually, we might make multiple breaches because uh, eastern walls collapse really quickly. So there you go. I mean, I know it's three batteries of twenty-four pounders, but two two volleys and that's you know that's what we've managed to do then my howitzers keep doing work in the center while everybody else focuses on kill the enemy general let's just bring the line up cavalry is likely to take a bit of a whoa not everybody dismantle Get rid of the cavalry. There we go. Cavalry is going to be to play a bit of an ancillary role. General's bodyguards upset. He's got Islamic swordsmen, armed populace, polygar, camel gunners. Here's an interesting one. Can the field artillery engage the centre? I think they might be able to, considering they all shot. When I gave them the order. Oh no, they would they created another breach. If I give them a fire at will, what do they shoot at? Nothing. Land some shrapnel shot in the breach. Oh my. I think my howitzers are doing a real number on the enemy back here. Do we be mean? Oh, quick glide. See, that's the difference. The infantry hasn't got to attack. You actually didn't come out and attack it. You get pummeled by artillery fire, I know that for a fact. God, look at this quick line just hollowed out these in entire entire units. Engage the armed populace. They're not 
going to take it very well. No, they're shattered. Indian infantry guards are suiciding in. You're lucky you're not being fired upon. Let's leave them to deal with those troops. Indian generals ready to commit. Yeah, you men just attack the guards. Oh no, you don't. Finish him off. Get out of the way, lest you be shot down by your own men. <laughs> yeah, they're all gone. Nice. You don't often see that, but I suppose the garrison was exceptionally weak. Excellent. 23,000. We can repair the enemy buildings. Let's... Let's get... Uh, everyone's replenished already. Let's destroy the university. We'll want to build this up into a into a um, church school. Let's get both of these ports rebuilt. Let's just do replenishing. You're at full strength. We can deal. Well, having Madras isn't that bad. There's one um, port. Let's recruit series of sloops push them up the coast okay now we're also laying siege to Satara it's tempting to see if we can lure anyone else into, into battle but I might push you guys up let's raid Colliper to prevent the enemy from researching You're on your way up to Hyderabad. Got numerous armies all over the shop. We can repair the tea plantation. I think in Europe, in India, we are done. In Europe, in Europe, we need we need a bit of a break. Got oh well, no, you're not at full strength. You can come back and deal with Ludwig Holz. Let's that. A lot of men lost. It's because they can move through Hanoverian territory. That's the problem. Uh, let's just smack that Austrian fleet. We shall rule the waves. Put into Visby. Can't repair this turn. Okay, there's not a huge amount we can do. I mean, around here we're just waiting, to, waiting for the Austrians to try and do something. But again, yeah, I think we just want to hit end turn and let things tick on. We need some income. We're running short of... Well, we're not running short of money. We're just getting involved in so many battles every turn that we just don't really have a choice. We need to keep investing in our army. As Austria send more men westward. You, where are you going to go? No, keep raiding our trade. Prepare for borders! <laughs> Prepare for borders. Victory! Cologne is ours. That income is lost to the Austrian Empire.
What are you going to do now, Austria? What are you going to do now? Still reinforcing the south. The south is where we're most vulnerable because we've still got a toehold west of the Rhine. Forming back to Strasbourg. We've managed to. Oh, they're gonna. They're gonna run right inside our own land. We have to pursue and attack them. We can't let them. We can't let them run around and start raiding behind the lines in Paris. It's not a huge deal. It's just a more of a frustration than anything. But this is why you end up needing to build multiple, multiple, multiple armies to try and cover every possible enemy route of advance against you. You don't want to give them an opportunity to be able to whip around the flanks and surprise you. All hands on deck. Oh, the garrison are going to sally. Alright, let's get our most high strength um, infantry units up front to try and Help us. I think every, I think if we need more than that many troops and support, then we're we're already in trouble. Let's defend our forces. Taking Satara. Satara is their capital. It's another source of their research. So if they lose that city, it's an enormous blow for the enemy. Right, right, right. Let's get cracking. Let's do some good killing. I think in the east, we've got quite a large number of armies, but the problem is, is they keep sending... They keep dispatching small armies against us that we have to kind of deal with, so we don't necessarily expand in the east the way we want to. Uh, you want to come out and attack us. You can do that for sure, but you're going to do it uphill. don't get defences anyway, so... So you, you, and you... And then on this even slightly higher ground, this battery is going to sit up here and try and lob shells into the fort. can position on the reverse slope can they come up through here it looks like they can <clears throat> but let's put some skirmishers they can watch the enemy try and get around here we can keep one unit of infantry behind to act as proper cover so my mercenaries may deploy stakes in front of the guns first. Something like that. Then everybody else, well, the cavalry can wait to deploy. Oh, this is a corner as well. Yikes. The rest of these men can wait to deploy, see where they need to be. into the centre of the fort. Good hits, good hits. We can keep a unit of marines behind the guns as close support. Line infantry can sit back as reserve. Just 
open fire. Don't give them a don't give them a break. Although we do want to focus on their cavalry with shrapnel shot, really. It's the most dangerous thing that can overwhelm us. Let's get my mounted tribal auxiliary over here. They can make it up this little slope. Shots to be doing a real number on all these guys. But yeah, my howitzers need to work on these Pindari horsemen because I can't actually reach them from here if I had. Ever so much. There we go. Now we can. How we can engage back. Push forward, native auxiliary. Actually, we do want to be around here. That's right. Run, you dogs. You're the one that are attacking me. Dari horsemen are routing. So back here in range of my mounted tribal auxiliary. We'll pick some of them off. Excellent. They're taking their sweet time to position themselves. So use my howitzers to start knocking holes in their line infantry. The cavalry force is pretty out of it. Charging horse guards. We 
can deal with the shame. Guards are onto them now. Infantry form square. Excellent. Form line. Get my tribal auxiliary back up. Hits. There's only 17 of you left. You don't want it. There we go. That's what you want. You start to work on them. The Dakani Lancers. Fairly sure that's where the reinforcements are coming in from. So it's going to take them a while to bring their forces to bear. Let's maybe put a regiment of force out on the right. Sixty-six aren't enough to break you. I mean, they're just getting... They're just getting annihilated. For what? Okay, let's speed this up a bit. If right now they're just gonna... They're actually gonna start attacking us now? Looks like they are. Excellent. So, you still want to work on... Tiny Lancers, you men work on. Don't really know. Whatever you feel like. The armed peasantry are going to. God. You fired your volley, now go. Look how much cavalry these guys have lost. Dithering. They're still coming. Hit them. Hit them. There you go, the armed peasantry. We're going to hit some stakes. So there's one polygon left. If you run the wrong way, my friend, you're going to get shot at by the light infantry. Mr. Shaw. I suppose you really want to work on the armed populace because they are closer. And the warriors, and the warriors storming up the hill towards the American infantry. Oh, that would suck. There we go. And you guys consider you guys aim shrapnel at the dervishes. You want to be just going to shoot the marines in the back of the head. Fire on my command. Marine 
target the howitzers. Some defensive quick claim. Reload. Mercenaries, dervishes, arm peasantry. to smack the arm to the pen tree. I think they're too close. Come on, gunners. Keep loading, firing. Quick, oh, the danger to those quick climb was too late. Real close. How it says. Technically, Dark Horseman, my how it says. Switched around, shot, attack the general's bodyguard. Now, let's go see how this. Fight's going on. Ooh. Fight off the dervishes. Bajir Lancers are coming in. Lancers dip, form square. They're very tired charging uphill. What stakes are going to do for them? I'll give you an order to form square. Fine, don't. Let's see if I care. You're just lucky there's stakes here. We can chase them away. Engage the general's bodyguard. Okay, even get out of the way. Hold fire. Oh yeah, they are going after my marines. Blast them with a round of trap shot. Some of my gunners were put at risk. Reman your guns. Boom. They chased after and thinking, oh, you know what? Yeah, we got this. Oh, no, you don't. Marines, get under cover. So, my cavalry have orders to kill these Pandari horsemen units. For whatever reason, when they disengage, they just. My guys don't pursue them, so they can spin around and just shoot me, which really sucks. Artillery, oh, how. How it's a fire is just doing a number on this unit. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they have the mass they need to deal with this. Kill the last of his Pindari horsemen. Come on, take them out. Okay, let's run back. 
Yeah, let's just speed up time for now. It looks like a lot of the AI can't actually understand what they want to do. They're just here running backwards and forwards along the along the wall. So that means the AI will be perpetually limited in what they can actually do. They're walking the mortars in. So if I land in a very accurate shot straight on top of the general or this commanding officer. Yeah, I mean. Engage the hundred and. 34th, coming your way. Lance is raised. Oops, you're just going to shoot your, you shoot your own gunners. Broken. Nope, they had enough. Focus on that 24 pounder unit. Danger. Danger codes. They're advancing into the valley of death. In good order, but not good enough. No casualties on the first volley. Oh, handful of the second. Where's my cavalry? Okay, they're limbering up. Perfect for counter battery work. All my guns, folks, fire. Ah! They fired now, that would be great. Commit my Marines. Will do okay against them. Yeah, they're mowing them down. They're still manning their guns. They haven't run away. Oh, just missed. The lances have been seen off. Gunners engage that artillery piece, but yeah, by the sounds of it, it's just going to be a bit of a bit of a mopping up exercise now. They've, un they've unmanned their gun. Some armed peasantry's on the isn't advancing. I suppose really want to focus my house on the armed peasantry because that unit's not going to survive very long. A unit, a very very weak unit of dervishes charging a line of drilled, trained, experienced infantry. Yeah, no. Okay, you've dealt with the enemy infantry. Gunner at the back. Engage the general's bodyguard. I think this might end up being everything they've got though. So where's my my regiment of horse? Just push down to attack those mortar crewmen. Those dervishes. Yeah. So they're gonna go. I'm not gonna go for them. I'm gonna go for the cavalry. Fine. 
Trap and shot the general. Oh, we got him. Trap was so good against general against elephants. They kill the mortars. And they're ghost mortars. Okay, is that battle over? Very lackluster enemy offence. Yes, it is. You know, we had an exceptional position back there. There was not much they could do about it. Yeah, that force has been annihilated, as has the garrison. Um, for fight, I don't, uh, I don't really want to fight it with this one. You can push us out of the port. That's fine. It's about to be our port. Uh, that's a dangerous action to fight because we are going to be surrounded. So let's retreat. Uh, kill that general's bodyguard. Okay, now it's time for the ultimate in 10 phase. So I'm going to chop the recording here and bring you guys back. So see you in a second, everyone. And we're back off to the races. Uh, nothing of any, <laughs> any note happened. Uh, really, it's the Ottomans and the Russians as a pair it seem to be really slowing this down. So, Persian Navy sailing around doing what the Persian Navy does. That's fine. Does not matter one jot to us. We've got plenty of things to be getting on with. Hundred eleven thousand a turn. Okay, so. Make sure that everybody Sir. is plenishing. You're good. Let's see if we, let's see if they'll intercept you. Hmm, apparently not. Okay. New town emerges in Cherokee territory. Let's get you built. Lots of good upgrades. Again, I do want to just kind of pick out the industrial upgrades that aren't um, that haven't been upgraded to the full level. So I want to make sure that we just don't forget what certain things we need to do. Okay, so we have got a sloop for Pondicherry, a sloop for Calicut, a sloop for Mangalore. Although that took both of them. One of you goes back to Madras, who will recruit another batch. Great. Okay, let's get. Okay, let's get rid of the weaver's cottage, replace it with a church school. We need to start the Catholicizing of these territories as quickly as we can. We're going to call in a unit of cuirassiers to support this cavalry unit, support this army. Then they can march north. Let's upgrade, make sure the roads are being upgraded. Replace Seringa Patna with a church school. Minus one. Okay, they should be brought into the fold quite quickly. Upgrade the global, upgrade the global trading company. Make ready. Right. They hide behind women. Simeon Hadley, you will probably want to attack Satara. You're going to hold back Evan J and defend this front. Mr. Cockburn is going to engage this force. So let's see if you intercept this. Actually, first of all, let's take you out here and just mop up those leftovers. So, Mr. Green, 
push back up to here. Cloudsley Cockburn, engage. Rusto and Shakawa. Lots of Gurkhas. Just need to be careful with them, uh, but we should be okay. We need to keep slaughtering every army they send at us in the east so they can't afford to send troops south. In the south, that is where we are strongest and the enemy are weakest. So we need to make sure that we don't we don't take uh, take our foot off their necks in the east. We want to make sure we keep on with the attack. Okay, so I don't want to be charging in. I want to fight a defensive engagement, force the enemy to send their troops into our lines where we can overwhelm them with superior firepower. So the enemy has a reasonable um, artillery force, so we are going to be kept busy. my put artillery on the hill they're going to go after more strategic targets my howitzers are going to be providing battlefield support and mr cockburn stay in the trees okay artillery engage the 24 pounders Actually, my artillery, we might just open up on their artillery in general, actually. Although, actually, we don't. Yeah, if you're firing quick line, you don't have the legs. Switched around shot. Artillery reload. Engage their artillery because it looks like they do want to retreat. So round shot is is the shot that allows the eye to fire its fire as fast as possible. Their mortars are engaging. I mean, we've got an arti artillery advantage here. I don't really want to lose it. I am willing to do a side cavalry unit in to attack the mortars if they are kept, if the enemy are kept busy. Excellent. Destroyed one artillery unit. And some good damage, Pindari horsemen, good ranged cavalry. If they touch us, they might break us. Yeah, they do. It's a bit of a risky gamble. Put artillery, engage the mortars. They might. If they're not pursuing us, my cuirassier will probably come back. This might be better off going for the mortars. Yeah, they came back. Go for the general's bodyguard, that'd be quite a nifty kill. Do you think that howitzer unit's going to go after the enemy mortars? My foot artillery. 
go after their 24 pounder battery. Heavy cavalry likes elephants. To be fair, it looks like you might actually be able to deal with the mortars ourselves with our heavy cavalry. Now they're going down. The Pindari horsemen have committed against our line. Killed enemy general. Make them break. In which case the artillery can focus on threats to our front. The cavalry on the flank out wide. Just kill enough of them to make them shatter. Go kill those mortars. Company cavalry is going wide. Gurkhas are wavering and the Gurkhas are broken. Chase down the Seed Warriors with my company cavalry to make sure they rout. Artillery engage the Sikh warriors, you guys engage that Sikh musketeer unit. Attack the artillery. Yeah, the dervishes are shattered, push my heavy cavalry up. Pikemen are engaging us, or have engaged us. Company cavalry is enough to do some good damage to them though. Gurkhas are routing. Where's my general? Get him over here. Kill the mortars. Kill the gunners rather. that last gunner and go after the mortars and run away light cavalry get out here general go after that unit of dervishes let's commit my cavalry and chase down some of the Gurkhas Run away, please, company cavalry. Those Gurkhas are they're just wandering around, they're not acting decisively, as a result, they're being annihilated. See if we can shatter the Sikh Musketeers. I don't think we're going 
be able to pull the cavalry back. You men engage. The Gurkhas are doing really well coming back. Oh, it's his bow fire round shot. Just start blinking at the Gurkhas as they come back. It's almost all Gurkhas that are still that are alive, alive on the field. There's a unit of Sikh warriors, but they've got the same problem. They have to charge in and engage in melee combat, which they don't necessarily want to do. What are you going to do, Marathith? What are you going to do? Try and attack the 113th, but I don't think it's going to work. Get the cavalry out. Here they come, one last charge. They're wavering. Nope, they've had enough of that. So you chase down, to you plus the company cavalry chase down the Sikh warriors. Artillery, engage. These chaps have not routed. See if you can get those Gurkhas. Okay, right, all my artillery engage. Seek Musketeer unit. I'm gonna wanna break away one unit of cavalry. Slow mode. Come on. Come on, artillery. Don't let me down. It's effectively over. Everybody's targeting a unit face down and annihilate and then right we're going to continue About to get the last of the sea warriors you two gang up on the Gurkhas there he sees fire The reason I'm grouping them together is just to help the um, pathfinding of the general, so he will be more efficient at chasing down his unit because they can pathfind with more troops. The only unit left is this unit of Gurkhas who is going to escape. Still, that was a good fight. Yeah, decisive would be a fair way of explaining it. But that was good action. Back you men go. But not a huge amount of losses from our end and losses that are readily replenishable. Osbert McDowell, you are waiting ready for orders. reinforcements. Immediately. Make ready. More orders. March. Excellent.
Let's just recruit General Carl Bradley. Forward, Forward. Your job is to bring up reinforcements. Excellent. Okay, this town here, build a church school. Abraham Pitt. There's nobody around defending Hyderabad. Let's check north. Nope, there's no one north either. Let's see if you can assassinate this commander. 26%. Missed him. Nope, we don't want to be over in Europe yet. We haven't finished in India. Okay, do you get a policing bonus? You do. You're f recruiting things as a you. Unfortunate. Start to stop. Just stack up some uh, some dragoons. Your orders. Any commanders around? I think you're going to try and push Watch. north that way. Going undercover. Big work. Underway. Okay, a couple of important actions here. You're going to attack Hyderabad. We're looking at the timer. I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of the USA and India. Cheers, everyone.